I've been fortunate to visit some of the wildest places on Earth. I've trekked the African forest in search of gorillas. I've laid in wait for lions on a giraffe kill they made. I've been swimming with wild elephants. And I've seen over a dozen wild tigers. Indeed, these are some of my favorite memories. The most profound moments. Moments when I am truly in awe, when I truly feel most alive. And these have led to the inspiration of some of my most important works of art. But what if in the future my art was all that my children had to represent these wonders of wildlife? What if it all goes away? And what if my two little girls don't have the opportunity to take their kids to Africa to see a rhino, an elephant, or Asia to see a tiger? When I was born, there was only 3.5 billion people on the earth. 50 years later, there's over 7 billion and growing every hour. We're the most intelligent species on Earth. We can build tall buildings, fly to space, create robots, even self-driving cars. We dominate every single landscape, environment that exists. Of the 8.7 million species on Earth, we're the only population that is growing. Our cities, modern ecosystems that they are, are the only ones expanding. And sadly, that expansion, this explosive growth, is often at the expense of our wild landscapes and biodiversity. And in the same breath, I can tell you that we rely on healthy ecosystem to survive. How have we allowed this to go so far off balance? How can we correct it? My name is John Banovich, and I created the ACE Award to recognize unsung heroes of wildlife conservation, people who have dedicated their lives to preserving wildlife and wild places. ACE, the Award for Conservation Excellence, is a lifetime achievement award designed to say thank you. Thank you for giving your life to preserving the Earth's biodiversity. Someone who has made a profound difference to a species or a landscape. Someone who, indeed, will leave the world a better place when they pass on. We combed the Earth for these people. Our submissions included people from every walk of life, living and working in just about every ecosystem you can imagine, from the forests of India to the oceans of Africa, from the Arctic tundra to the deserts of Asia the mountains and deserts of North America, to the jungles of Central America. People have dedicated their lives to securing our ecosystems and in turn means securing our own future. What would the world be without a giraffe? What if the only tigers in the world lived in zoos? And what would we eat if the oceans died? As our race continues to expand across the planet, we need to start recognizing what really matters, what food security really is, and more importantly, recognizing and listening to the heroes on the front line. They truly do have the answers and the solutions. Indeed, without a healthy environment, how could we possibly have sustainable food supply? Without that, how can we survive? So what does a rare butterfly have in common with a tiger, a polar bear, a sandhill crane, a rhino, or a shark? They all represent a level of fragility. All are dependent on a healthy ecosystem and all are threatened by the ever-expanding human element, constantly pushing them towards the brink of extinction. But most of all, they rely on our recognition of the need to understand them, to value them, and understand the challenges they face, to implement the right solutions that lead to a healthy and bright future for not just them, but for us. Conservation issues are coming straight towards us like a giant-sized elephant. I challenge you to support conservation, engage with our finalists in securing a future for wildlife and wild places.